it's Ty Bug and happy Spooktober. Oh, I'm here with Scully, but he's gonna stay down here. Oh, you can kind of see him. He's over here. And as you guys all know, Halloween is my favorite holiday and the month of October is essentially Halloween. So right now, it's not really the best time to go out to trick or treat or to celebrate Halloween. So I decided to just celebrate at home. And part of that is I'm gonna be doing a couple of Halloween makeup looks in the comfort of my own home. So my first idea was to do a vampire look because obviously vampires go with Halloween hand in hand. But vampires are so overdone. <laughs> like I was trying to, I was looking at makeup looks on Pinterest and YouTube and everyone just does the same vampire look. And I, I don't know, I couldn't really think of anything different. So I'm just gonna kind of have fun with it, do uh, maybe my own little twist on it. But if somebody else has done it before, no worries. So yeah, I'm just gonna turn into a vampire. And I'm gonna start with my eyes. So I'll zoom you guys in now. And I'm going to put on my eyeshadow base, which is the Anastasia base. got that down. Ooh. Look at that ghost. Next I'm going to go in with my unnamed Morphe palette and I am going to start bold. We're just going to go in with the black and go right in the crease. Right in the outer corner. And I'm going to slowly start winging that out. I'm slowly gonna start bringing that in towards the inner corner, but I'm not gonna go all the way in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other eye. Let's try and be ambitious to see if I can do both eyes at the same time. Yeah, I can do this. And I'm just following the natural shape of my eyes, so I go for my outer corner towards my eyebrow. You, you, you see? Are my eyes different? This one looks sharper, this one looks rounder. Okay, and then to soften the inner parts a little bit, I'm just gonna go in with a clean brush to kind of blend that in towards the center. And since this one is kind of harsh, I'm just going to blend the tops a little bit. And as usual, I'm just going to clean off a little bit on my hand, on my arm. And everyone usually does a red eye because red, blood, vampire, blood. But let's change it up a little bit and go purple. Because I think purple is in uh, vampires vernacular. Why can't vampires rock purple? Why do they have to be overt with the whole blood stuff? What if they want to subtly draw in their targets with what? I'm just a purple little girl. So I'm gonna go into the darkest purple here because we don't want to go light. We want to stay dark. And I'm going in with the same brush I did the black and I'm just gonna start Blending that in with the black. So since it's out there, it'll be the darkest, and then maybe when I go in a little bit more, it'll be a lighter purple. Usually you go light to dark, but I'm mixing it up. There are no rules to makeup. There's only guidelines. And I'm gonna start blending that into the crease a little bit. Then with this brush, I don't know what it is. It says it's a 
e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. They don't put names on all of their brushes. I think this is one of the older generations. I'm just gonna go into the purple right next to it that's just a little bit lighter, but not the pinkish purple. And I'm just gonna pat that into the inner lid. And we're going with the dark purple and kind of blend. And now I'm gonna quickly do the other eye. So what I just did is I did a little bit of purple on the outside of the black to kind of blend in the two colors. Right now it looks a little bit messy, but just wait. Trust the process. Let's go. Okay, so that's the eyes so far. We'll come back to that. Just gonna wipe those off on the arm. Why did, what do other people use to wipe off their brushes? I wonder. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the skin. I'm just gonna cover up a couple of spots with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in caramel. I'm pretty comfortable in my own skin right now, so I don't wanna do like heavy cover up. And you know what? There's always photo editing. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna try to contour again. I haven't been very good at contouring ever, but this is the matchsticks uh, part of the same pack, and this is truffle. How should I do this? I think I should go in with the concealer to carve it. <laughs> this could ruin everything. Maybe I should start with my nose. I don't know, I just feel like vampires have very carved out faces. Okay, wish me luck. Is that how contour works? Face straight on. Ah, ah, mm, 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 mm. Let me let me try something real fresh. See if this fixes it. Bronzer. Did that fix it any? Maybe if I add in the blush and all of that, it'll look okay. I don't know, it just looks dirty. Did I do it too low? Help. <laughs> I'm just gonna go do the other side now. I, 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 I can't, I can't. I don't like it. I'm just gonna cover it up with a obnoxious amount of blush. I know vampires are usually really super pale, but I'm colored. So I'm a colored vampire, okay? And my interpretation of a vampire is super glowy, super tan. I don't know anymore. I'm just, Let's just blush it and pretend that that never happened. So I'm gonna go in with my Buxom Wanderlust blush in Dolly. If I can open it. And I'm literally just gonna put this everywhere. Cause it's all the abundance of blood I've been drinking. And then 
had to uh, kind of chill that out a little bit. We'll go back in with the bronzer and just Bronzer saves the day, always. It's not looking too bad. Would you Matic? Okay, let's go back to the eyes. Why are you so open? Go away. Okay, okay, okay. Or should we do the eyebrows? No, we do eyebrows last. Oh, no, no. Most people do eyebrows first. Let's do the eyes. Okay, let's put some liner on. I thought I was thinking about doing something fun like bat wings, but I feel like this is kind of dramatic enough. I don't know, I feel like the bat wings will get in the way of the... <sighs> so I'm just gonna do a regular. And this is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. It did a really thick eyeliner, but you can't even show it. So I feel like that's a waste of eyeliner, but it's been done. What's done is done. Okay, I'm gonna do a little in the sun, in the inner corner. Bam! I'm not gonna start crying, I swear. It's just how my eyes work. I just gotta keep the tears in. Stay inside my eyes. It's coming. Do you see that? Let's do a little red for my lower lash line. Cause maybe we're bleeding blood. Bleeding blood, duh. Maybe we're crying blood. And I'm just gonna go in with this shock red. the same crease brush because I'm not creative and I don't use different brushes for everything. And I'm just gonna blend that up here. And then just to get rid of that stark white right here, I'm just gonna blend in some brown just to tell it to chill out. I'll just use this Costco All Purpose Eye. And I'm just gonna go in with, I don't know, I don't know. This looks too red. Maybe this brown. Yeah, I guess. Let's see if this ruins everything. Um, I bronzer fixes everything, duh, Ty. And I guess just to even it out. It is what it is. Eyebrows. Do I want to put lashes on? I have these lashes. I feel like. No, I'm not going to. No one can stop me. I don't even want to put on mascara. And you know what? I'm not going to. Let's do some eyebrows. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. the modern day vampire. And I guess all that's left is the lip. So I did purple and red and black. I don't have black lipstick, I swore I did, but I can't find it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do red in the center and then purple on the outside. So I'm just gonna go on the outside with a Marc Jacobs kind of lip pencil. Is that how everyone does liner? Are my lips just special? Huh. 
This is the Powder Puff NYX Lippy in Red Group Love. And let's just go on the outside of that with some purple. This is the Bite Marsala Liquid Lip. Am I done? Am I done? I think I'm done. I think I've done it. I think that's it. Now I'm loving this. But yeah. That's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think I'll ever be good at contour. But it is what it is. Leave a comment on any other makeup looks you want me to try in the month of Halloween. Who knows, maybe I'll do it. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye!